one of the fights that's supposedly being talked. I don't know. I don't think it's been finalized, but um, Alex Vosdick against David Benavidez for the interim WBC title. I want to get your thoughts on the fight, but I also want to talk to you about this very strange nuance of Better be of is the WBC champ, has never lost. He's active. He has a fight on the calendar. What in the hell is the WBC doing giving out an interim title fight? Just like they're just making it up as they go. And what do you think about this? I mean, are you as surprised as I am that they would announce an interim title while Better be of is active and the current champ undefeated? Like what? And fighting potential unification fight against uh, Bevel coming up in June? Nothing at the WBC, or for that matter, any of these, really, of these organizations do shocks me anymore. And not, none of it shocks me anymore. Uh, if they, you know, I mean, um, if they went into the ring in the middle of the fight and said, uh, you know, we, we're not letting this fight continue because we think our guy might get beat uh, and we might not have to <laughs> rob him because he might get stopped. We're going to stop it right now under some, uh, on, on some kind of, you know, murky rule that we have uh, in somewhere. Well, where's the rule? Well, we have it. We'll show it to you tomorrow. We, we don't have it available today. But we'll show. if they were to do something, and I know I'm talking in an absurdity here, I get it, but I'm purposely talking in an absurdity here because that's that's the belief and confidence I have in these organizations. None. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I have a lot of belief and confidence in these organizations to do the wrong thing, to do the thing that doesn't make sense, to do the thing that makes sense for them, whether it's an allegiance because of, they're getting a lot of you know, money from the guy and, and their sanctioning fees. They have a good relationship with the guy. Uh, you know, they have a that kind of situation, which, you know, they all look for the sanctioning fees. It's always about, you know, follow the money. Um, there, there's a reason why, you know, why Canelo um, could go inactive for, you know, probably 14 years and, and still probably keep a title or, or you know, uh, Charlo, uh, what, uh, the 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 bigger Charlo was inactive for what two and a half years, and he he didn't yep. get any strip tease done to him. That's done to other fighters. <laughs> you know, there's a strip tease done to other fighters, not to him. You know, and 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 there's a there's a long list of them that that I can't even go down right now. So uh, the it's not on the up and up. Uh, they make up their rules. They do whatever's convenient for for their business, for for their you know salvation, for you know uh, for something that's gonna keep them uh, in the black instead of the red when it comes to making money. You know, it, it's it's not complex. It's simple. You know, it, it's it's they have the ability to do it. They do whatever's gonna serve them and and serve the people that they want served. So, you know, it takes away from the credibility. It hurts other fighters. It takes away from the credibility of the sport. I, that's why I'm still fighting for a national commission, which you guys uh, could go out, uh, look, Ken could tell you how to find it, uh, and, and sign the petition if, if you feel yeah, so inclined. Yeah, the link will inclined. be in the show notes. Yeah, if you <clears throat> feel so inclined. But look, at the end of the day, uh, you know, you they are getting ahead of themselves a little bit, but um, right now in the light heavyweight, you got Bevo and be better be of tremendous fight, tremendous fight, tremendous fight, and the only reason it's being made, it's got nothing to do with organizations. It's got a, something to do with a guy named Turkey Alashika as the head of sports and whatever other part of his title is over in Saudi Arabia, as throwing you know, as throwing a unworldly amount of money uh, all over the place. You know, you got an unworldly amount of money where everywhere, where you live in a place, Ken, where everywhere you walk, you walk on top of money. There's, that's a lot of money. Uh, that's a lot of money, Sam. A lot of money. Everywhere you walk, there's money. It's called oil. And everywhere they walk, there's oil under their feet. And, and they're able, and, and look, I, I, I call things as they are that I think they are, 
if I remember there was a point before where people Ken was was trying to say, oh, this guy should be the face of Bob. Oh, no, this guy should be the face of Bob. No, Turkey Alashika is the face of boxing right now, uh, whether you like it or not, because these fights, fights that couldn't be made because the promoters were too greedy to get together to make them, there wasn't enough money for them to, to you know, to... to to satisfy them to, they couldn't have complete control and have all the money so they said no uh, you know the only way that the promoters get it done they got enough money the only way they get it done over here if if you got fights that you want but there are different promoters have the fighters and they got to go across the street to make the fight and they don't want it the only way it happens is like when like a Pacquiao and Mayweather have but it happened way too late five years too late that's the problem now some of these fights are happening because of uh Turkey Alashika who, who who's you know who's throwing ridiculous money uh in order to to make them in. and we're the you know we're the beneficiaries of getting these fights now before it's really too late uh, before it's really too late. Better be if he's 37, 38 years old. He's getting close to where it's it's going to become late a little bit. But I don't think he's there yet. Not the way he looked in his last. Not the way he looked in his last fight or so. So um, a, a very interesting fight. And then of course you got the super middleweights, where you would love to see. I would love to see a consolidation of the titles just like they're doing in the light heavyweights a lot of talented guys in the light heavyweights I would like to see the same thing done at super middleweights and that would mean Canelo and and um better Vita, better Vitas. that's what that would mean that's what that would. but right now better Vitas made an announcement I guess that's what you're you you want to talk about Ken he made an announcement yeah that he's going to, I think they even made a date for what, for June, where he will step up and fight um, Alexander Volsic, uh for the right to fight the winner of Bevo and Better Be. Am I, am I laying that out the accurate way? That's ex that that's exactly right. That's what's being talked online and seems to have some credibility. I think, like I said, even Suleiman te uh, uh, tweeted that out. Well, if you want my feelings about and, and it. Alex, and Alex Alex online said that uh, terms have been agreed. So I don't think it's finalized, but it's, it seems to be very close. I'm sure it, it is. Look, if you want my feeling on it, my feeling is this. Give a lot of credit to... Benavides, I don't know if he knows exactly what he's chewing off. Um, I might have a better idea than he does, being that I had trained uh, Vosik, but I give him a lot of credit that he's going to go up from, he's a big 168 pounder, I know, get it, I get it. But he's going to go from that division where he's a dominant force, and he's beaten everyone there except Canelo pretty much, um, he's a dominant force. Uh, he's going to go up now to another weight class, light heavyweight class, and take on a very dangerous, a very good, qualified, beyond qualified, a, a world champion opponent. A guy who was a world champion, his only loss, a guy who was a bronze medalist from the Olympics, from the same camp as, as the great fighters Uzik, and Lomachenko from the same stable, he's going to go up to light heavyweight, again, take on a guy whose only loss was to better be if he was beating him going into the 10th round, and he ran out of gas, uh, which is my fault, um, which is, I, w I would take responsibility for that. Um, he, he won't run out of gas. Uh, I don't believe now. I think he's he's had a few years now, Volsic, to think about it, to to form a certain resolve in him to come back. Uh, and I think he's a dangerous guy. I I, I think he'll beat Benavides. Um, wow. Yeah, I think he'll beat him. I I, I love Benavides. 
Uh, the haters out there, go hate. You, you know I don't give a crap about that. If I haven't proven anything in 50 years, in the, I should prove that I don't give a you-know-what, a rat's you-know-what, about what some of you people say. <laughs> I really don't. And I don't hear it anyway. So that helps because I am internet illiterate. So I don't hear it anyway. So, you know, like I said, go sit in your basement in your underwear and, and uh, do whatever you got to do. But I, I love Benavides. I think Benavides, he, he comes from boxing bloodlines. Um, he's a fighter to his core. He behaves like a fighter. He fights like a fighter. He fights the kind of style you love to watch, aggressive, strong, gets rid of guys, um, faces everybody in front of him. That, that's there to face, proving it again. Believes in himself. His father's involved. He, like I said, he comes from bloodlines. You know, in, in, in the sport, he's a, uh, he's a guy that, that he, he, def, he depends. He, he fights a kind of pleasing style that anybody would enjoy, a physical style, and he blends it with, with other things too. Uh, you know, he blends it obviously with things that top fighters have to blend it with, with technique and other things. I, I think that he depends on his physicality probably to a higher level uh, than, than, than a lot of fighters would. Um, but he's, he's obviously, he's, he's a guy that it's beyond what he does in a ring. He's driven by, I think, a sense of legacy. He's driven by wanting to prove before the clock runs out, wanting to find out. When I say the clock runs out, on we all get old. I think he wants to find out how good he could be. I think he really, truly wants to leave his mark on on and his legacy on boxing. And I think that's why he will take on such challenges. He believes that he had... You know, he'll, he'll beat uh, Vozik and then he'll be in line to fight the winner uh, of Better Be of Bevo and believes he'll win that. And that will be his his legacy uh, in the sport. Uh, I think he's connected to both Mexican and American heritage where he, he wants to leave his mark in both places uh, as, as a great American-Mexican fighter uh, with that great heritage of the great, great, great Mexican fighters and obviously on the sport uh, overall as uh, an American fighter. Um, but I think that, I don't know that he's aware. I don't know if he cares to be aware, yeah, but I don't know exactly. if he's aware of what risk he's really taken with a naturally bigger guy, again, a guy who was a world champion, a guy who... Uh, defended his world title, a guy who l lost, uh, you know, only loss was to better be if after he was winning late into the fight. Uh, if he's not pre uh, prepared for that, uh, he would get a rude awakening. I'm sure he will be prepared for it because he's going in there with a guy who is going to, give him fits, counterpunching the crap out of him or looking to counterpunch the crap out of him when he comes forward. Also, we'll, make, we'll be able to push him back uh, in spots too uh, when he needs a guy who can use his legs to give angles, to set traps, um, but mostly a guy who a guy who believes he will beat him, a guy who's a fighter at core. Not, not just a good boxer, not just a guy, you know, that has good skill sets and good technique, which he does. He's technically very sol solid, Vosik, but a guy who also has the same thing that, that all top fighters have to have and the same thing that Benavides has and that Benavides knows he has and is dependent on. He's got a mental toughness and a lot of people might they might really miscalculate in that area. They, they might really count him short in that area of how mentally strong and tough Vosik 
is and will be in this fight. And if he's if he's counting him short in that area, he's going to find out that he counted him short in that area. Again, I, I it's very early. I um I, 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 I for the haters out there, I'll finish with this again. I like I like Benavides the way I just stated it. I like the what he represents. I like the way he's overcome certain things in his life. I like the way that he fights. I like the way he behaves as a fighter. The the way that he that he's proud to be a fighter and he and he's not afraid to put that on the line in the ring against anybody. I I love him in those ways. Love him. I think he gets beat by Fosin.